is going to be for this look. This is my take on a mermaid. So it's like half kind of fish scales on this side and then kind of normal on this side. And I kind of just winged it as you'll probably tell as you watch the tutorial. So if you are planning on being a mermaid or want to be a mermaid in everyday life, then this tutorial would work for you. I don't even know what I'm going to be for Halloween. It's probably not going to be a mermaid, but I thought that this would be really fun to do today. All of the colors I really pulled from the Electric palette, which is really, really awesome for lots of Halloween looks, especially this one. So I hope you guys enjoy and just keep watching. Using a white eyeshadow base, I'm just going to lay this all over my lids so the colors really pop. Using this turquoise color from the Electric palette, I'm just going to lay this directly on my lid. And don't worry too much about the crease because we will be going over that with a darker color. Taking this blue color, I'm just going to use a fluffier brush and lay this down into the crease. Taking this green color, I'm just going to press this into the inner corner of my eye. Taking this same color, I'm going to use a smaller brush and make little scales. Taking this silver color, I'm just going to pop that under my brow bone for a little bit of a highlight. Taking this liquid liner, I'm just going to line my eyes and then start creating a wing on the outer corner. We're going to build up this wing later, so don't pay too much attention to detail on it now. Next I popped on my Iconic Lashes from House of Lashes and I'm going to prime my face with the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Next, I'm going to apply my NARS foundation with a stippling brush. Now that my lash glue has dried, I'm just going to pop on some mascara to really bond my natural lashes to the falsies. Taking the Naked Skin Concealer, I'm just going to apply this under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, along my forehead, on my chin and on my cupid's bow. And then I'm just going to blend this in with a flat foundation brush. I'm mostly focusing on patting motions as I'm blending, so I don't wanna wipe away too much of the product. Taking the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, I'm just going to set my concealer wherever I placed it. Taking the three contour shades from the Shade and Light palette, I'm just going to start contouring my face as I usually do, building the color up as I go. I definitely want the cheek contour to be pretty defined. I'm going to run that across my temple, and then I'll start contouring my nose. I'm making the nose a lot more narrow for this look, so the lines are a lot closer together. I want this look to be bronzy, so I'm taking Too Faced Sun Bunny and I'm just going to apply this bronzer above where I contoured to give it a very tan look because we are mermaids and we do swim and we're in the sun all the time. Next, I'm going to take that same turquoise color we used on our eyes and we're going to start contouring wherever we use the Shade and Light palette. We want this to be a blue aquatic kind of contour. We need a little blush, so taking this pink color, I'm just going to put this on the apples of my cheeks and blend backwards. Next, we're going to grab that silver highlight and highlight just above the cheeks. on the cupid's bow and also on the chin above the brows as well and down the center of the nose 
Next, I'm going to prime my eyebrows with a waterproof primer. And then I'm going to fill them in with this purple color. This was really fun. I liked having my eyebrows like a fun color. Not that I would do it every day, but it was definitely fun to mess around with my brows. Taking this green eyeshadow again, I'm just going to brush this under the bottom lash line and then apply some mascara. So now I'm going to start winging it. I'm taking that white eyeshadow base and I'm basically just drawing on some scales or gills or whatever you call them. And then I'm just going to start popping on some different colors from the electric palette. The green, the blue, the pink, and kind of just having fun with it. You can do this however you like. Choose whatever colors you like. Place it wherever you like. I put it on my cheek at first and then I started working it up the temple and then I started going a little bit crazy. Taking that black liquid liner, I'm just going to outline some of the gills to give them a little bit more definition. Taking a kind of hot pink lip color, I'm going to apply this to my lips. And then I'm going to put a clear gloss over top to make it really shiny and dewy. Taking that silver highlight color again, I'm just going to press this onto my lips to give them a little bit of a sparkle. Taking a black pencil liner, I'm going to kind of define the bottom of my lash line and just work it kind of on the outer corner. And then I'm going to build up that wing with liquid liner. We want this to be thick and dramatic. Taking a pearly pink highlight, I'm going to start brushing this all over the gills we drew just to kind of give it a cool sheen and make the gills less defined. As I said, I definitely winged this tutorial, so I was just grabbing products and applying them, but I had a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time.